Good morning. We're waiting for our new TYM tractor to get dropped off this morning. That should be here ooh, in a little bit. But while we're waiting for that, we need to take care of the goats, take care of the chickens. And they are working on clearing with a workshop and future barn are gonna go. They're getting close. There are a few big rocks over here that we need to move then get all that brought down. And then we can figure out exactly where we're gonna be building the two buildings and get the grade starting to get set for that. That is exciting. Good morning, ladies. You ready to free range? Look at that, we already got one egg in there. Look at that, three eggs total. Come on, come on, come on, roll down. You know you want to. There you go. I like that. Even though they're free range and I still want to feed them inside their coop. We want them free ranging to help us with all of the tick activity we've been having this year. But I want them to know that is home and that's where they need to go and lay their eggs. Good morning, ladies. You ready for some fresh hay? You got a niche there, Grace, or what? Ready? Is that good? Let me have time to get in there and open it for you, will you? Ouch. All right, enjoy. You want some hay? I'll be right there. Good morning, boys. Yep. There you go. They sure do love to waste their hay. I'm gonna have to get in there and clean up everything that they don't eat. We got a good pile going, but we'll be able to use that to cover up some spots. We're gonna be trying to plant grass over there and just different spots. So we'll get over there in a little bit and get that cleaned up. Come on in, honey and ham. What are you doing in there? Come on in. Pigs are like one of the only homestead animals that love to sleep in. Just checking their water, they've still got plenty of water. But I don't know, most of the homestead animals are always up and about early, but pigs, especially when they're piglets, they love to sleep and then the bigger they get, the more nocturnal they become, so then they sleep in. They're kind of like teenagers. They like to get their rest. Oh, plenty of grain. Good morning. You heard me playing with your grain bin. I didn't bring you any eggs this morning or any other food scraps yet. That is one a big old rock. I'll have to go over there after that's all cleaned up and see what it all looks like, but it's coming along nicely. I don't know if you know or not, but TYM has been a great sponsor and supporter of Lumna Acres, and they help us do what we do here. And you guys help us do what we do here too. If it wasn't for your, all everybody's support, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So we wanna thank everybody for that. And right now, Scott's Recreation is bringing us a new TYM tractor. So we've been looking at newer models to try out and they're bringing this one up today and I am excited. We went to the TYM tractor show that Scott's Recreations put on in Maine. We were able to test out all the different TYM models and this is one of the ones that we tested out and we decided that this was gonna be good for the homestead. There's other ones, but this is 
one that's coming right now. This is a new TYM T574. This is a little over five more horsepower than our other one. And the reason why we're getting this one is this one has more horsepower, so it means it has more horsepower out to the PTO. So we can put a bigger mower on this because we have quite a bit of field to mow. And right now we got a six foot mower with it. We're looking into different bat wing mowers, but I wanna start off with this one. This is a six foot wide, brush mower and it's got the dual wheels on the back so this way you're going to have better stability when you're mowing and you're not going to be scalping as much as if you just have a single wheel. Our TYM T25 mower we have a four inch wide mower with just a single wheel in the back and when you're flexing your tractor you can scalp it quite a bit so we went with the dual wheel on this one so we should get a nice smoother mow. We're going to be going up and mowing with this in a minute. It says Titan Implements on it. So Titan Implements changed their name to Ironcraft. This is an Ironcraft brush mower, not Titan. So there's two different companies out there, or there was two different companies out there called Titan. One of the companies, Titan, is online. And most of those implements, I'm, don't quote me on this, but most of those implements, I believe, are made in China, where this Titan, which is now Ironcraft, is made in the USA. And the only place you can get these are through a dealership. You can't buy them online. We get our TYM tractors from Scott's Recreations in Maine. And they also have a dealership down in New Hampshire called Central New Hampshire Trailer and Equipment. And they sell the iron craft. And they make a good heavy duty attachment. We have a grapple bucket that is iron craft. We have our box blade that is iron craft. Our other four foot mower is iron craft. I'm trying to think. I feel like there's one other thing we have that's Ironcraft. I just can't think of it right now. What do you think of the new tractor there, figure out? Do you approve? Huh? You like it? Under the hood here, we have our interstate battery. We've got our air filter close, our horn, the coolant overflow. We're going to have everything for our air conditioning, our different coolers, boom and boom. You have your reburn there for all of the exhaust parts. You got your motor, alternator, starter, pump. This one has a turbo. 494 does not have a turbo. This one does. We have all of our fuel filters. This is plumbed up for the third function kit. That makes it so you can run like a grapple bucket. You have like your thumb on them. So if we got the third function for that. If you have a plow that you can angle, you can hook your third function up to that and you'll be able to angle it. This one has a red step. The other one has a black one. Inside the cab looks pretty much the same. All of the controls are the same, which is nice. We have our bucket lever and then right here, boom and boom. This is for our third function control. We have Kenwood radio, heat, air conditioning, high, low. We've got our vents, our speakers. These windows open up. The doors open on both sides. This tractor is hydrostatic, so we just have forward and reverse. Our brake pedal, we can lock it. We have low, high, medium. Cup holder, a little tray. This side we have two cup holders, another little tray, a place to plug in 
a couple of devices, two USB ports. This lever right here is nice. It raises and lowers our three-point hitch attachments from the outside. So when you're taking everything on and off, you can access it right there. In here, you do the same thing for your three-point hitch height. We can adjust our steering wheel with that little lever. It has cruise control. This is for our regen, reburn, information, PTO selection. This one's for turning our PTO on and off, our hazards, four wheel drive, two wheel drive. And then right here, you have this little pedal. You step on that and you put your rear locking differential in. This right here is an adjustment for how fast or slow your rear attachment would go up and down. You got a seat adjustment, so it's got a nice like little ear ride suspension feature. So that adjusts that. Not sure what that little doodad's for. And that is our hand throttle. And then in the back here, we have controls for some hydraulics. Right there in the back, we have some remote valves. So that works for us for like our ditch bank mower. So we can go up and down and side to side. So that's what you would use those for. But yeah, I think that covers about all of it. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And we'll talk about when we're mowing. Now we're gonna go up and we're gonna stop mowing the side of the road because it's starting to grow in and we need to keep this place looking pretty. Two point two hours. Nice. She's brand new. Sounds so good. Smells like a new tractor. Let's get heading on up. Raise that up. We'll head on up and we'll start doing some mowing. All right, let's try right here with the mower for the first time. All right, I've never used this style mower on this tractor, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna lower it down, see what height we want it. Let's try right there. We'll get our RPMs up a little bit, put the PTO on. One of the things you're probably thinking is, Al, if you have a ditch bank mower, flail mower, why aren't you using that? That we have for getting down in different angles and around the pond where you can't reach. The reason I wanted to get a rotary mower is you, this one's a lot wider. The other one's only four feet wide. This one's six feet wide. And with a flail mower, you can't back up and mow. You can only go forward. So if you have a place that you need to go forward and then back up and clean up, and that's the only way you can get in. A flail mower doesn't work for that. The rotary mower is what you need. So that's why we have this. We can go up, do the sides of the roads, and then back into any little spots that we need. So we're just gonna go up, do the main parts, and then we will come back after and try cleaning up some of the other spots later on. But so far, that's looking good. I like the looks of that. We have a lot of work to do with this 574 and this rotary mower. It's not all gonna get done today, unfortunately. We have quite a few hours worth of cleanup work we need to do. If you guys are just new to the channel, we bought a big piece of abandoned property. I think this is gonna be going on the third year now. The people we bought it from had owned it for 30 years and they just let everything grow up, which is nothing wrong with, but now we're trying to go around and clean everything up, clean up the roads. We wanna make sure the roads stay nice and open. So the sides of the roads were all overgrown. So we had all that brush cuts. So now we got to go around, clean that all up, clean up the sides. We just want to make sure that nothing gets grown over because what was happening before when the roads 
had the trees on both sides that close. They were just small little trees. I shouldn't say little trees. They were probably like four to six inches in diameter. And anytime we got a windstorm or a heavy wet snow, all the trees were just collapsing over on top of each other and blocking the roads. So anytime we wanted to go anywhere, we'd have to get out and cut our way through. So now that we have the trees cut back, we gotta clean up the rest of it. So we got our work cut out for us and the 574 is gonna help us take care of all that. She's already dusty. You got a tractor, you gotta break it in. You can't be afraid to put it to work. All right, let's do some mowing on this side of the road. Slow it back down. All right, just had a really bad rattle. and I don't know if I hit something or if I broke something. So we're gonna find out. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing nothing. I must have had something jammed up in there and it came out. Oh yeah, it's gouged. It's gouged up there right good, but I'm not seeing anything else. We got some dents already. That's one of the reasons I went with the six foot mower for now is because I know we're gonna be into some rough stuff getting all of this raw land cleaned back up. Over the years, it's gonna get easier and easier to mow, but I don't know what we just hit over here. There's a rock, but just barely scalped that just the way it was. Maybe it was this oh, piece of wood, probably. When it gets like this, and we're first trying to reclaim all of this area, it's hard to see it, and you don't know what you're really dealing with. So, luckily, I don't think we damaged anything too bad. So, we'll get that started back up, do some more mowing, and 
We're just about done up at the upper area. I got all there done. I just have this little small area left here. Then we can head on back down the road. I wish this was all nice prairie, but that's not the kind of country we live in. We live in tough country with lots of rocks and lots of sticks. So our equipment has to be able to handle that. So far we're doing good. Let me get that started back up. Then we'll get this mowed and see how we do. Well, the noise is gone, so whatever it was, isn't there anymore. I know, I know, I'm gonna get a hard time for you guys because I keep shutting the tractor on and off. But if I don't shut it off, you can't hear me. That is looking so nice. That is the after. And that's what it's looking like before. I'm mowing all that up because otherwise that's just gonna turn to trees. I like it, so good. And then the pond. And then I do definitely need to adjust this when we get back to the house. We're just too far away to run back up to get some tools. And unfortunately, I didn't bring any tools with me. I need to have a little toolbox to keep stuff in because that's way too pitched ahead. So yeah, that's our issue there. But we'll fix it. And next time we use it, it'll be right. Look at how good that looks. It is looking good. We are definitely stirring up the old black flies right now. But man, I am excited with how good this looks and how this is mowing and everything about it. We ended up getting our tires loaded, or should I say we ended up getting the rear tires loaded with beet juice. It's a non-corrosive and it won't freeze. That way we have more weight in the rear end. So I'm always glad when we do that because when you get some sketchy situations, it's nice to have some weight on the back. We're almost back. We're getting close. Let's continue on down this way. Got a few bugs on the windshield and we got a few bugs in the tractor. I told you we really stirred up them black flies, but I am happy with that. That came out good. I would say we broke the tractor in properly today. It's dirty. The mower's dirty. Got dust all over everything. And the edge of the road is looking a lot better. So I don't know what more you can ask for. Everything is working good. We still have plenty of work to do. But gotta 
fix that link adjustment. But I'm happy with that. The 574 works good. I'm really happy with the little upgrade. And we're gonna get plenty of use out of this. It's gonna get dirty. We're gonna do lots of projects with it. Put it down below. And what attachments would you like to see me get and try on this tractor? I have a few in mind, but I'm sure you do too. So this is where we're gonna end the video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If it wasn't for you and sponsors like TYM, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing here at Lumna Acres. So thank you guys from the bottom of our heart, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.